it's story time story 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 time let's read it story time story 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 time i'm geek the story time story 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 time you and me it's story time story 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 time uh, let's achieve hello my beautiful k crew and welcome to story time with me kayla how's your sunday going i hope you're doing well and of course making sure to please stay safe now today we have another special arthur feature and it's from two returning arthurs today we are going to take a look at a book from arthur's sherelle and amari yarbrough this sister and brother duo is back with the second book in their series about three special girls in their life. And so, without further ado, the book we will be reading tonight is called Dun -dun -dun -dun! The L Rays Encounters Vibrations and Sounds, written by Sherelle Yarbrough and Amari Yarbrough. You ready to see what this book is all about? Ready, set, let's begin. The L Rays Encounters Vibrations and Sounds, written by Sherelle Yarbrough and Amari Yarbrough. Here we go. <laughs> hey, she signed it. It says to Kayla from Sherelle Yarbrough. Discover a universe within. Yes. Always, always, always. <laughs> Here we go. Chapter one, the new kids in town. Ooh. Summer seemed as though it had come early to the quiet Baltimore town. There were roses, dandelions, and daffodils that had spontaneously bloomed from the ground. Ari, Bree, and little Lily knew from where the flowers arose, but Mommy made them swear to the heavens to no one would they ever disclose. Oh, so they know why all these flowers are here, but they have to keep it a secret. As they walked through the streets, which were more like gardens, they danced and played happily. Then little Lily saw a mysterious frog hopping and chased it immediately. She took off like lightning, leaving a pink ray behind her, and dashed into the depths of the woods. Ari and Bree gave chase behind her to catch her as soon as they could. Ooh. <laughs> Lily, stop! You're going too far! Ari shouted from close behind. Mommy told us not to go this way, and we need to get back home in time. The frog finally stopped, and little Lily did too, in a section of the woods that was brown. No roses, no dandelions, no daffodils were anywhere to be found. <gasps> Ooh, it looks like they went too far away. They're in an unfamiliar place. Suddenly, a group of shadows appeared, which startled the three young girls. Then the shadows circled them with evil and instantly went dark the world. Bree began to cover her ears to block out the unknown sounds that vibrated and pulsated continuously from well beneath the ground. Oh, they're starting to feel something. Some vibrations. Ari could feel the rays from her hands getting ready to give off a blast, but she remembered what Mommy had told her, so she stopped in hopes that the darkness would pass. Ooh, she's has the urge, but she's like, no, I can't use my powers. Hey, what are you guys doing here? One of the shadows spoke as he kicked dirt off his shoe. Then the sisters could see all of the faces, and just like them, the shadows were kids too. We were just passing through, Ari said, to the tallest of the six new faces, which she could now see much clearer than before were that of many different races. Oh, girls and boys and different races. They were all dressed the same from head to toe. In white, standing tall in the dirt, they were all wearing white sneakers with the names Gina written in black on their shirts. Hmm, interesting. My name is Jamal, one of the voices said. 
That's Shelly, Brian, and Stephanie. Those two are Avery and Angela. We moved into the neighborhood recently. Hmm. I love your colors, Stephanie said to the sisters. They are very colorful and bright. Do the colors mean anything? Jamal asked with suspicion. I think I saw something like it the other night. Hmm. Maybe he did see them the other night. I think we need to go, Ari said concerned. We shouldn't be this far away from home. We live just through the field over there, Jamal said. Come play outside or FaceTime us on the phone. Abruptly, Ari pulled her sisters away and began to head back home. Inside, she had a really bad feeling, not realizing just how far they had roamed. Mm. You know, anytime you have a bad feeling about something, always trust your gut, your instincts. More than likely, something is wrong. <laughs> what is a Gina? Bree asks of Ari. I've never seen that word before. I don't know, Ari said to Bree, but we will definitely find out for sure. Did you hear anything? Ari asked of Bree. Could you hear what's inside their heads? Yes, I heard them all say the same thing. Gina is the future, is what they said. Hmm. <gasps> what is this Gina? It's going to be the future? As the three sisters quickly exited the bushes and returned to the street where they lived, they noticed that some of the flowers had died and some of the branches on the trees had started to give. <gasps> Uh-oh. Look, the dandelions, daffodils, they're starting to die. And the branches are breaking. The leaves falling from the trees, too. Whoever we just met, Ari said, I don't think that they are our friends. Their energy was definitely not friendly, said Bree. I hope we never see them again. They kept their secret between the three of them in hopes that maybe it would go away. But what the three of them did not know was that they would see the Genas another day. Uh-oh. Chapter 2, The Influencers Ari was eating lunch in school with her friends Leanne and Sarai. They were discussing the upcoming soccer game with the new school that was on the rise. This school is undefeated, Ari said. They've never lost a game. That's because they've never played us, Sarai boosted. Our skills will put them all to shame. Oh, I love that confidence. <laughs> Go, girl. <laughs> there are some kids I want you to meet, Sarai said. I've actually made some new friends. They are right over there. Let me introduce them, as she pointed to the crowded table at the other end. Ari's eyes got big when she saw the familiar faces from the day before. It was Stephanie and Jamal, surrounded by kids in a way that they were all adored. Ooh, everyone's like looking at them like, wow, who is that? Stephanie was wearing the same color as Ari. She was dressed all over in red. She was wearing the same white sneakers, but with a pink scarf wrapped around her head. Jamal was wearing a purple shirt with purple pants to match. His sneakers were white with two pink lines on each side. He appeared as a very handsome catch. Hmm. Some familiar colors there. Hey, Ari, good to see you again, Stephanie said with a very sly smirk. I love your outfit. It's very cute. You should add some accessories if you want it to work. Stephanie has her own YouTube channel, Sarai Beamed, where she sells all these cool accessories. She has close to over 1 million followers. You guys just have to see. Mm. She's telling her how to dress. Some nerve, right? <laughs> I have something for everyone, Stephanie said with pride to the girls. Jamal and I put in a lot of work to get these products into the world. 
kids all over follow our page, Jamal continued to say. We have one of the biggest operations around, and it will be the best in the world one day. Hmm. What are they up to? What's the name of your company? Leanne asked, curious to know more. Just search the name G-E-N-A, Gina, Stephanie said, which Ari remembered from before. Um, sorry guys, I have to get to class, Ari said in an attempt to get away. She had that same bad feeling that she had the other day. Hmm, <gasps> she's doing right by going, leaving, getting away. If you get that feeling... As Ari headed towards the door, she felt her feet lift from under. She took a fall and went down hard. While the other kids laughed, all Ari could do was wonder. Something unknown had caused her to go down. Her fall seemed like it was planned. Jamal and Stephanie just looked at her as if in the fall they had played a hand. Mmm, they probably did play a hand. Something's up with those two. Ari exited the cafeteria and quickly headed through the halls. But everyone was staring at her and laughing up and down the side of each wall. Within seconds, a video of Ari falling was all over the internet with the hashtag loser goes down on her face. Ari was embarrassed and filled with regret. Aww. Mm, Ari... Leanne rushed out to see all the commotion and saw Ari in the middle of the uproar. Come by my house later today, Leanne said. I have something to show you for sure. Hmm. Oh, my little phone her falling. Poor Ari. Jamal and Stephanie watched very closely as Leanne and Ari walked through the crowd. I think we may have a serious problem, Jamal said. We need to fix it or the founders won't be proud. Mmm, so they are up to something. We just don't know exactly what yet. Later that day at Leanne's house, Ari sat still and sad. She couldn't take her mind off what happened earlier. When the day was over, she would surely be glad. Leanne, a budding young scientist, was frantically typing away on her laptop. She was rapidly going through various formulas, and once she found what she was looking for, she stopped. Hmm. You need, everyone needs a friend like Leanne in their life. Remember a while back when I showed you the images of the different color rays in the sky? At the time, my frequency equation showed a good balance, and I think those rays were the reason why. But lately, that balance has really been off. Nothing seems to be moving as instructed. The even balance of peace and stability has somehow, some way, been disrupted. <gasps> She's like, oh. <laughs> When did it start? Ari asked of Leanne. At what point do you think this began? Just a few days ago, Leanne replied, is when I noticed the shifts in the land. Those new kids, Jamal and Stephanie, do you think they seem a bit odd? They think just because they have all these followers that somehow they are bigger than God. Mm -hmm. You know, that's true. I noticed that too. They do think. They're a little big-headed. They think they're all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> what else does your equations show? Ari asked. It seemed like it's very complicated. It may be to the average person, Leanne said, but it's only as difficult as you make it. Based on my scientific calculations, the vibrations are at an all-time high. We are heading for possibly the biggest change in the world. If only I knew the exact reason why. Hmm. So something's going on. But they still don't know what. I think I may have an idea, Ari said, as she had a vision of darkness and light that came to her just out of nowhere and gave her unknown insight. I need to go home and talk to my sisters. 
Ari said as she began to leave. Hey, Ari, I'm your friend. You can tell me anything, Leanne said. Sometimes a good friend is all that we need. Mm -hmm, that's true. Ari left without saying a word, rushing home with a newfound strength. Her confidence had been restored somehow, but evil seemed to be within arm's length. Ari could see Bree and little Lily waving to her from their big bay window. But before she was able to reach the door, the Genas appeared, putting Ari's safety in limbo. Uh-oh. They're going to try and stop her from getting from that door. Before Ari could call for Mommy or her sisters, the Genas had swept her into midair. She was lifted into a dark cloud of dust, which gave her quite an enormous scare. Bree and little Lily watched with their eyes wide open as their big sister seemed to disappear. Bree covered her ears to get a better listen to see what it was that she could hear. Hmm. So they took and swept up Ari. Come on, let's go. I can hear them clearly, Bree said to little Lily. We will need all of our powers together in order to defeat the enemy. Then they grabbed their hands and combined their powers and shot purple and pink in the direction of Ari. No one messes with the L rays, Bree said. For that, they will truly be sorry. Mm-hmm. Nothing like coming to help out your sister. <laughs> Chapter 3, The End of the Beginning. Ooh, what does that mean? The dust had settled and Ari looked around, for now she was finally able to see a place she had never been before, some place she did not want to be. Where am I? Ari asked, confused. Not to be afraid, Jamal said. You're safe. If all goes well, you can return home soon, Stephanie said, as long as you cooperate. What does that mean? What does she got to do? Ari looked past Jamal and Stephanie and saw what appeared like hundreds more, all dressed in the same white Gina's attire, as if they were preparing for war. We need you, Ari, Stephanie spoke up, to help us continue to grow. Our generation has a major task, which is far more than you know. Mm, what is their task? What do you need with me? I'm just an average schoolgirl. All the Genas collectively laughed out loud. Then Jamal said, <laughs> You're not average in this world. We need your ray of strength to complete a very important mission on Earth. The next phase of evolution is coming, and very soon the universe will have a rebirth. <gasps> Ooh. A new way of existing that gives powers to us and makes us larger than life. We will have the ability to control everything from day to night. No one should have that much power, Ari said, standing with her hands on her hips. I will never help you in any way with any of my special gifts. Ooh, yes, Ari, stand strong. In unison, the Genas all took their stands and prepared a full-on attack. Ari lifted her hands in preparation to blast anyone who came close onto their back. Mm. As the Genas marched forward to take on Ari, they were stopped before they could further proceed by a huge color explosion of purple and pink that sent all of them to their knees. Standing in defense of Ari on both sides was Bree and little Lily in battle mode. Their hands were beaming with fantastic light that at any second would surely explode. Ooh, nothing like sisterhood, sister power. How did you find us? Jamal asked in a panic. This place can only be entered by members. They somehow breached the invisible realm, Stephanie said. This will truly get us in trouble with the elders. The Genas continued to close in tightly 
on Ari, Bree, and little Lily. They were now surrounded and unsure what to do to fight off the many enemies. <gasps> That's right. It's like a hundred of them against only those three. There are way too many for us to take on, Ari said. We need to find a way out right now. Let's grab hands like Ring Around the Rosie to see if that somehow clears the crowd. As they connected their hands in a circle, they began to spin into a colorful blur. Then, like a tornado of light, they were safely lifted into a new world. They were suddenly transferred. Ooh, so it's like they turned into a tornado, a colorful tornado. They looked around and noticed that they had landed on the edge of a beautiful floating lake. And sitting there was the familiar frog from before, basking in the warmth of the daybreak. The frog! The frog! Little Lily jumped in glee. Magic! Magic! She continued to yell. That's correct, my child. The frog spoke back. Welcome to the beginning, my little three L's. What a talking frog. Who are you? Ari asked, confused. And how do you know our names? I knew you before you were born on this earth, the frog said. I'm so glad you finally came. This place that you've entered is one that is special. It's the place beyond the realms of the sun. And now that you are here, you will receive the tools that will guarantee you are never outdone. Ooh. They're all like, they all close their eyes. The three of you are essential parts to unlock the mystery of mankind. Now close your eyes and count to three. And when you open them, the answers you will find. The girls did as the frog instructed closed their eyes, and together they counted. When they opened their eyes to look around, on their faces, special jewels and vision had been mounted. <gasps> Ooh, they got some jewels on their foreheads and special glasses and different attire now, different clothes. What each of you now has is something more powerful than anything ever owned by man. You now have the vision of the universe, which you will need to carry out her plan. Who is this her to which you prefer? Bree asks, wanting to know more. That answer you will find on your journey, the frog said. Then, in a blink, he disappeared from the shore. What? We need to get back home, Ari said. Mommy is going to be quite worried. Which way do we go? Bree asked, confused. I have no idea where we are, and everything is blurry. Remember what the frog said. Just relax and count, Ari instructed to little Lily and Bree. Now concentrate, focus, and look again, and tell me what it is that you see. Now look, just over the hill. Ari said, a clear path that leads to our home. I can see mommy in the kitchen cooking dinner and talking on the phone. As the girls headed home with their newfound gifts, the frog appeared once again in the distance. He smiled, knowing that they were starting to learn the true meaning for their existence. <gasps> oh, the little frog was magical and had something to do with it too. Meanwhile, back in their invisible realm, the Genas were extremely frantic, for they had let the L rays escape from their clutches, and they were well beyond the mode of panic. If we don't get those girls, Stephanie said, we won't be able to make our advances. The culture depends on us to lead them. Time is running out, and we don't have many more chances. Mm. Don't worry, we will definitely complete what we started, Jamal deviously said, rubbing together his hands. We just need the right bait to lure them close in a way they wouldn't understand. Little do they know, I've already set the trap that will make them feel as if they are protected. Now just sit back and watch everything unfold, because what is coming 
won't be expected. <gasps> Uh-oh. The and... Yes, K-Crew! You know, this was a perfect sequel to the first book. And I always appreciate how our Arthur, Sherelle, and Amari always capture the magic of sisterhood and girl power. Now, I hope you enjoyed reading this book as much as I did. To find your copy of the L. Ray series, make sure to head on over to their website, and you can also find these books on Amazon. And of course, be sure to follow on social media. A huge thank you to our Arthurs for both submissions and make sure to check my description box below so you can catch the read aloud of their first book. And I want to give a huge shout out to Brielle, Ariel, and Lilyel. Hey, thank you for watching. Now, I thank you all out there for joining me as well, but it's time to sing goodbye. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, 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 my friends, goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb in the bed and sleep real tight. On the count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three. <laughs>